Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Today we are going to install CAFE on a NVIDIA Jetson TX1 development kit. The TX1 is running L4T 24.2, a 64-bit operating system. Let's get started. Back in February, we loaded up a 32-bit operating system on the TX1 and ran CAFE. I thought it'd be an interesting experiment to load up a 64-bit operating system and compare the results. I just finished flashing L4T 24.2 using Jetpack 2.3 on the TX1. L4T 24.2 is an Ubuntu 16.04 variant. Who comes up with these names? The first thing that we are going to do is load Git onto our system. Next, we will go to the Install Cafe JTX1 repository on the Jetson Hacks GitHub account. We'll grab that address. Git clone. Paste. Then we'll switch over to that directory. In that directory, we have a shell file, which will crank the CPU and GPU clocks to the max, which will help us with our performance. We sudo this baby. And now we're ready to install cafe. We have an install script, installcafe.sh, which does several things. First, it downloads the dependencies Next, it configures the build system. Then it builds CAFE. And then it runs some tests to make sure it was installed correctly. The build system will figure out for us if we have CUDA installed and CUDA DNN and will configure itself appropriately. This process takes about an hour or so. The tests themselves take about 45 minutes. So feel free to go into the shell file here and comment this run test out if you don't want to run the tests. Through the magic of video editing, we can cut this process down to just a few seconds. So we've run all the tests and all the tests passed. Over 2,000 of them. Impressive. Okay, so now let's run our little timing test that we usually run. Copy this over. Got to switch over to the cafe directory. Now we can run our test. Okay, so now we can see that our average forward pass is 80 milliseconds or so. These tests are run on 10 different crops of the input image. So we look at this average forward pass and then we divide it by 10 to get the timing per recognition. So we get about 8 milliseconds. Now by comparison, the 32-bit one took about 103 milliseconds. So by comparison, this one's about 40, 42% faster. The backward pass is about the same, 
on the 32-bit and then this average forward backward is around 225 on the 32-bit so here it's 200 which is what you'd expect from the difference so this 40% turns into 20-ish percent so the 64-bit with the new CUDA 8.0 and CUDNN 5.1 and the 64-bit operating system is significantly faster considering it's running on the same hardware. Thanks for watching.